There we go. Hey, Facebook. Oh, it's good to see you guys tonight. I've been... Well, I've been looking forward to this time together. And I haven't been looking forward to this time together. Oh, let me explain just a second. Uh, first of all, my name is Mick Schreiber. For those of you who will be joining us for the first time, it's great to see you. Welcome to our little nightly devotion here. Uh, I am a, an Episcopal priest. I serve two parishes in Ludington, Michigan. And in Ludington, let's see, there's Ludington. We are over there on that side, okay? All right. Uh, we're on the Lake Michigan shoreline. And um, it's a beautiful little spot. And if you've never been here before, come here. Come for a vacation. Welcome. Um, it's a great place to be. I serve the parishes of Grace Episcopal Church and Emmanuel Lutheran Church, both here in Ludington. And um, every night we have a little video here that we do a devotion and we catch up with everybody. And tonight's devotion is going to be, um, is titled, God Remembers and We Are Saved. Okay? All right. Well, we're looking at people who are already in the room, and it looks like we've got Dee with us. Hey, Dee, how you doing? You probably have Dick right next to you. And Kelly is with us from Texas. Sharon is here. I hope you are healing up, Sharon. Uh, Debbie. Debbie, um, we had... Ginger in the room with us last night. I'm recognizing the same last name. Um, hmm. Could there be a relation there? I, I didn't ask Paula about that, but I think I know who that is. Maybe she'll be in the room again tonight. Uh, Dick and Dee are both there. Great. Good to see you both. Michael Tadavito is here from Texas. Yes, Debbie from Kalamazoo. Kelly from Houston. Uh, I wonder how the weather was down there. T today was just another gorgeous day. Oh, man. We're not supposed to get rain until Friday. Um, and it looks like every day this week is just going to be gorgeous. And that's why you can tell I have a little bit of helmet head right now. Because, uh, yeah, I was on the motorcycle today. All right. And Sharon from Scottville right down the road. Absolutely. Carla and Bobo are probably watching together. Good to see you guys. Oh, no, wait a minute. Carla is in Ann Arbor with her mom. She asked about your chin hair. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, thank you, Carla and Carla's mom. Um, yeah, it's the only kind of biker thing that I have going on when I'm in my vestments. So uh, every year I grow a beard for, for hunting season. And this year, I just decided to try to keep this and see what that turns into. We'll see. And Debbie, uh, I thought it was your stepmom. Yes. Okay, got it. Good. I was I was on track there. And Kathy is watching probably with her husband, Ben, um, who sent me a real nasty email today. He just This guy is just so mean to me. I don't understand. I, you know, I treat him with nothing but love and respect. Hmm. Something he heard last night in, on the video and thought he could um, he could tease me about a little bit. And, and that's okay. We'll let him do that. I want to tell you a little bit about... Oh, tonight. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I have a couple of Yingling Oktoberfest left uh, over from uh, last fall. And tonight, that's what I'm enjoying with you guys, okay? All right. Why I was looking forward to this broadcast and not looking forward to it all at the same time. Well, it's because on the Episcopal side, the news is now public. Um, I informed my parish today, my Episcopal parish, um, my bishop and my friend, Wayne Hoagland, has been put on suspension for one year. And the news came out to the diocese, 
and uh, we had a joint call at 10 o'clock this morning with all the clergy of the diocese. And um, I found out some more information about what all is happening. And, well, on, on this broadcast, it's enough to say um, I would really appreciate your prayers for my bishop and his family, uh, for my diocese. Um, as we go through this next year of healing and, um, well, you guys are smart enough that you can go on Google and you can find out everything that's going on. I'm not going to get into that right here. Just enough to say that Bishop Hoagland, Wayne, is my friend. I love him dearly. And, um... He's going through a tough time right now, along with his family. And, um, well, we just pray for them, okay? All right. So, tonight, as we go through our... Uh, oh, my pop is watching. Hi, Dad. Good to see you. Um, as we go through the video tonight, if you guys would not mind, please tell me how many people are watching with you. Uh, that way, we can get an accurate count to put in the register because this is an official service of the church. It may be online. It may be virtual. Well, I guess you couldn't really say virtual, could you? It's just online. It's broadcast through the internet. Instead of saying the office in the church proper, we're saying the nightly office together here, and I'm supposed to record those services. So please, if you don't mind, tell me, uh, who's in the, uh, how many you have watching with you and we'll make a count and we'll try to be as accurate as we can. Okay. Tonight I want to tell you a little bit about, oh, I'll tell you a story about my grandfather's funeral. Mm. Oh, it was the early nineties. Um, Grant passed away, I think in 1991. Um, Anyway, my grandfather was the head of our family. Uh, we're, a, 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 we're a Spanish, a, a Puerto Rican family. And my grandfather was the head. My grandmother, uh, she was the doña. Um, she, had, she had passed away several years before. Well, when my grandfather died, um, all of us, went to the funeral, of course, and all the cousins gathered together downstairs in my grandfather's house in his basement. Now, his basement, there was one room off to the side that was the bar, okay? Now, my grandmother and my grandfather threw amazing um, New Year's Eve parties, okay, every year. When I was growing up, every Sunday was at my grandparents' house, okay? We had rice and beans and, and penil, uh, pork roast, okay? And it was awesome. I loved growing up in those Sundays of all the family gathering around. And it was just beautiful. And it's a tradition I try to hold now as, you know, my older children are now moving away from home. And, well, we're, we're having rice and beans and, and pork on Sundays and the family is supposed to gather back here. Anyway, so there's a lot of memories in my grandfather's house for all of us cousins, okay? The generation, well, the generation that loved Gramp and uh, that, that heard stories about him and got to take part in all those parties. And So there we were after his funeral actually we were gathered in his house and we were in the basement we were in his bar and we were telling stories back and forth about growing up and growing up in york and growing up in my grandfather's house and attending all those parties and we were telling stories back and forth and and we were laughing and sharing and we were not being very sensitive okay my mother and her sister were upstairs and they heard us downstairs kind of carousing and having a good time. It was, it was our way of grieving. Okay. It was our way of 
telling the stories and remembering my gramps. My mother wasn't very pleased with that at the time. Later on, she would come back to me and tell me, I know that's the way you guys were grieving. You know, it was, it just hit her kind of wrong that day. Okay. But that's kind of the way that we needed to deal with that. We needed to tell the stories. We needed to, and, and much like in the devotion tonight, one of us would start a story and the other would just fill in some of the gaps. And, and in just telling the stories, we were, we were kind of sharing those moments with my grandfather again. And it was an awesome time. One that I will always remember the rest of my life. I think you'll see how it kind of ties in with what the devotion is tonight. But first, uh, scripture that goes along, along with the devotion is from Psalm 105, verses 1 through 11, and then verses 37 through 45. I do not like when the church does that, when they split up a psalm, but when they leave verses out, those are the ones I want to go read right away, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Psalm 105, verses 1 to 11, 37 to 45. Give thanks to the Lord and pray to him. Tell the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell about his miracles. Be glad that you are his let those who seek the Lord be happy. Depend on the Lord and his strength. Always go to him for help. Remember the miracles that he has done. Remember his wonders and his decisions. You are descendants of the servant Abraham, the children of Jacob, his chosen people. He is the Lord our God. His laws are for all the world. He will keep his agreement forever. He will keep his promises always. He will keep the agreement he made with Abraham and the promise he made to Isaac. He made it a law for people, for the people of Jacob. He made it an agreement with Israel to last forever. The Lord said, I will give you the land of Canaan and it will belong to you. Then he brought his people out and they carried with them silver and gold. Not one of his people stumbled. The Egyptians were glad when they left, because the Egyptians were afraid of them. The Lord covered them with a cloud and lit up the night with fire. When they asked, he brought them quail and filled them with bread from heaven. God split the rock and water flowed out. It, rain, it ran like a river through the desert. He remembered his holy promise to his servant Abraham. So God brought his people out with joy, his chosen ones with singing. He gave them lands of, of other nations, so they received what others had worked for. This was so they would keep his orders and obey his teachings. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the devotion tonight, let me go through here. Hey, Mike is with us in the room. Hey, Mike, you're probably there right with Angie. So good to see you guys too. And Stacy is there probably with Abby. And thank you, Carla, for telling me both of you. I teens, two I beams. Got it. <laughs> Very nice. Debbie, two are watching. Very good. Thank you. Christine, just you. And never just you, darling. It's good to see you. Thank you for being there. Gene Tracy. Gene, my brother. Hey, preacher. Ha hope all is well with you and your family. It is going well. Thank you. Um, and we have been praying for you, my friend. Uh, I don't know when your surgery is coming, but it ought not be too far away. So, anyway. God remembers and we are saved. At a family reunion, folks of all ages sat together remembering stories of the past. Remember when grandma was a girl, began one person. Then another said, and her family moved to their new home? Yes, a third remembered, 
a third member chimed in, but she stayed with the neighbors to finish high school. Psalm 105 calls the generations of Israel to recall and celebrate the saving acts of God throughout history. Like family members finishing each other's sentences, one verse leads to another. They remember when God protected their ancestors during famine, raising Joseph from slavery to leadership. They recount the plagues God sent and their ancestors' liberation from Egypt. They tell how God guided and sustained them in the wilderness with fire, a cloud, quails, and gushing water. The family sings praises for the Lord's wonderful works. God remembers, too, and enacts the promise of steadfast love in every generation. And the prayer for tonight. Thank you, Lord God, for caring for your people in every generation. Bring us home with joy. Amen. And our prayer concern for tonight is for family reunions. I think that's awesome. <laughs> so our prayer list for tonight continues where we left off last night. Uh, we continue to pray for Tim and Teresa, Charles's son and sister, our daughter-in-law. Patsy for Chick. Uh, haven't heard back how he's doing yet, but we continue to pray for him since his motorcycle accident. Debbie, you're in the room with us tonight. Um, Debbie for Kim and for Austin, your nephew. Barb for your sister Joy recovering from surgery. Eleanor for your grandson Eric who's treating patients um, in New Jersey, New York. D for Joy and for her daughter Ann. Jim, we're still praying with you for, for a donor to come forward. Allison, for your mother, Marla. Vicky for your dad, Larry. Leah and Bruce, my friends. Bruce, buddy, I'm praying for both of you guys, okay? Zeke, for your wife, Sue, as she continues to recover for, from, hip, from a hip surgery. Sharon, for Bob and Julie. Kelly, for your sons, Adam and... Christopher, and I did get your message today, and we're going to have a very special prayer um, on Saturday, and I thank you for trusting me with that. It's hard to believe it's been a year. Priscilla, for Tonya, Nate's mom, and for Jay and Nate, and, and the things they're going through right now, the process that they're, they're involved in. Amanda, for your grandpa Charlie continuing to recover, and and Jim, of course, we join you with prayers for Woody. Gene, my buddy, you Marine, you. When is your heart surgery coming up, man? We're we're praying for you and for the doctors and surgeons, and nurses that are going to be in charge of your care. Barbara, you've asked us for prayers for Doctor Yardumian, uh, who is helping to treat patients at St. John's in Gra Gross Point and Madison Heights. Leah, for your mother, Judy, who is suffering dementia. And, um, oh, God bless her. Joyce, for your daughter, Mandy, uh, recovering from surgery. Lou and Ed, for your great-grandson, Ralph Edward, who is also recovering from his surgery. And we are praying for Katie's upcoming surgery. D, we're still praying for your aunt, um, Cora, 96 year, 96 year old aunt who's recovering from the, the COVID virus. And Dee said she wasn't doing so well. So we're praying for her. And Tracy, we're also praying for your husband, Rick. Rich, excuse me. Uh, I saw a picture of his wound today. And I got to tell you, Sharon, uh, we have two Sharons who watch normally. The one Sharon who sent me that picture. Don't do that to me, darling. I, I'm, I'm not good with pictures like that, okay? Um, God bless him. That scar, um, when he heals completely, he's going to have a heck of a story, okay? All right. Miss mm. Kathy, you have asked us for prayers for Miss Annie Bird, and we join you in that, okay? All right. Now that brings us to our time of Compline. 
Compline is the final service of the night. Is a, It's a series of ancient prayers, a time that is set aside um, to be with God, to open our hearts. Uh, let's see, we've got Colin is in the room. Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? Colin is here with us. Tim, me and Wonder Dog started. <laughs> Tim is in the room. And Jason Burns. Jason, it's good to see you, too. You take care, man. All right, the opening sentence or the opening words of the office are called the invitatory, okay? The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. The psalm appointed for tonight is Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shelter of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold my God, in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. If his angels keep you in all your ways, they shall bear you in their hands, Lest you dash your foot against a stone, you shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And the lesson for tonight is from Hebrews. Now may the God of peace, who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of everlasting, of eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do his will, working among us that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now in the words our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In the collect for tonight, look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by day, as by night, your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. In the Song of Simeon, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. And for those who will be watching uh, this devotion uh, in the morning and using it as part of your morning devotion, I'm so glad you're a part of us too. And... I have a different morning prayer for you guys. Um, the one I had been saying, I, 
I kind of wanted to adjust that a little bit, so I think I'm going to go with this one, okay? In your morning prayer. Holy Father, thank you for loving me, for walking with me and caring about the smallest details of my life. Fill me with grace, Lord, that I may have the strength to face what is before me today. I know not what today will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. Please give me your wisdom and fill me with your peace. May I show the same grace to others that you show to me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And now a blessing. My brothers and sisters in Christ, may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you always. Amen. I just realized something as we're ending tonight. I forgot to tell you the people that were praying for. Um, I left this bottom part of my prayer list. See, there's a special category that I have on my prayer list that people who are suffering from the effects of, of cancer or the treatment of cancer. Uh, Leah, you've asked us to pray for Mikey. And of course we do. Um, Mike, you've asked us to pray for your sister Lori in Washington State. Tim, my buddy, you're watching tonight, man. You've you've asked us to pray for your brother, Mike, and we have been keeping him in prayer. Sharon for Jim and Jack. Greg for our friend Randy. I've asked your prayers for Helen. And Kathy, you've asked for prayers for Joanne. And, and as always, guys, if you have any other prayer requests, please put them in the comments, and I will get to them and add them to our list, okay? Darren is with us. Hey, Maureen, good to see you. Sorry I've been absent, brother. You you don't need to apologize for anything. Appreciate you and love you too, brother. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of our time tonight. I've loved spending this time with you and I look forward to this time every night more and more. The more and more I do it, the more I look forward to it. And I thank you for that because you're very much... This is an interactive thing, okay? All right. Be safe. Be well. Love each other. Love God with all your heart. And good Lord willing, the crick don't rise. I'll see you tomorrow, right here. Good night, Facebook.